Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and we are at a church rummage sale. All of the jewelry is a dollar a bag unless it's marked otherwise. So I'm digging through and I found some great treasures to share with you when I get home. The little lady needed a snack, so she got brownies. They were 50 cents each. And then there is a delicious looking blueberry scone. And we've got more treasures to look through. kids are very happy discovering this part of the rummage. What you find? And, um, mainly it was jewelry. So if you love jewelry, you're going to like this haul. So I'll start with the stuff that is not jewelry first. So I don't normally pick up jewelry. And if I hadn't have picked up jewelry this time, I would have only spent like $3 or so. I got these Strawberry Spree recipe cards for uh, what does it say? a quarter, and it's funny because my mom picked them up and put them down, and then I picked them up. I just thought that that image was fabulous. It looks like they're all strawberry, and uh, what brand is it? I bet Current. Yep, it's Current. I was hoping to find some vintage Christmas, and this is the only piece. Uh, I guess it's an ashtray for a quarter, and it is a... Marked Holt Howard from 1959. I think that if you wanted to, you could put a picture in there and then on a little easel and you've got a little Christmas picture frame instead of an ashtray. This isn't marked anywhere, it's a quarter. I really liked the shape. I liked that it was silver and I think this will uh, be nice for toothpicks or to hold some of my silverware that I collect and put that in my corner cabinet. This book was 50 cents. I thought it had fabulous illustrations. I really loved um, the, uh, what I wanna say, um, the composition and the viewpoints in a lot of the images. Just very, very dynamic. I thought that one was fabulous. Very well done. And then I thought, you know what? My son could read that. So um, I don't know if it says who the illustrator is. A First Lady Bird Book of Nursery Rhymes. Let's see. Printed in England. Frank Hampson. Well, I think Frank Hampson is a wonderful artist. Let's see if we can find one more. Oh, yeah, I thought that that was great. Um, I believe that this is the lid that would have gone because it really does fit well. It's 50 cents. I guess it's a salt and pepper shaker. And it's got the cobalt with this metal on top. And um, on the bottom, I looked at it with a magnifying glass. It was just so hard with like, I don't want to call it rust, but I don't know, corrosion or gunk. Um, it said made in Japan. And so I don't have anything like that that's got the cobalt with the silver I'll just take that glass out to um, clean it up and I might actually just put it in my um, spare bedroom and leave the, the shaker part off and then stick stuff in there or um, even put that on and it can hold some nice stick pins or corsage pins. And then the last thing was just this box. I think something was in it and it was marked 50 cents. I actually don't know. That was probably from that shaker. Okay, so there was probably something in it because there was tissue paper, but I love these boxes that come with a little bit of foam and it's sturdy because it's two thicknesses of cardboard. It's got a lid that fits perfectly with a great design. So I paid 50 cents for the box and it was perfect because it held all of the jewelry as we looked through it. These are my daughter's finds. She picked up a colorful beaded bracelet, some earrings, a butterfly pin, uh, this is a tag that says it's from Michaels. 
a little bangle bracelet and she wears her jewelry. She wears different pieces every day. She's so good about that. So she'll wear all this. I think she got some stuff to give to her friends as well. And this one says INC and it's a choker style, I believe. And it's so delicate. So for myself, I can't resist uh, Aurora Borealis crystals. And these are a dollar. I find that most thrift places will have the earrings um, for about $5 a pair. So to find them for a dollar, I was excited. And I'm looking for things like this to turn into magnets. There was a four strand necklace that's just so pretty and clean. And it's got a very interesting clasp. It opens like a slide. So I really would love to find more dress forms because I think it'd be fun to um, just drape some in these crystals. Here's a vintage shamrock pin with a little rhinestone. I'm definitely gonna put that out for St. Patrick's Day and it's marked Roma at the top. Oh, sorry. Try and hold the stuff so carefully and that's why I drop it. And then this ring, very shiny. It's marked to Corey on the inside. Don't really know anything about that. It says 925 right there for a dollar. Just a nice little sparkly ring. I think this is my uh, favorite piece. I believe that's a thistle. I don't know, that's what I would call it. I could be wrong though. It's got some really pretty engraving that sparkles beautiful purple rhinestone. On the back, it is marked WBS in a diamond, and it also has some hallmarks of European sterling. So I'm going to look that up and see if I can figure out what country or what year. All of these say uh, sterling, and it's... Um, I don't know if you call these... I guess they're not clipped. They're like screw screwbacks. So we've got the dogwood blooms, and right there it says sterling, and underneath it looks like HSB, and then in there were um, these, what is this, yeah, two screwbacks, and then in a different bag was that set, and then that one does have a maker's mark, it says... HSB also. Okay, so maybe actually that's the set. Or are they the same? They're the same. But this one doesn't say the HSB. This one is the one that's got another maker on it. It says uh, Bow, B E A U. And then there are these little leaves. It's so exciting to find all this stuff. This piece, this feels like suede. I don't think it is though. And I don't know if that's real turquoise or not, but it's, you know, the color, kind of that aqua color. But the silver on the back says 925 sterling. Little ring here and it says 925. What does it say? It kind of looks like I said like GI or something before. Sparkly. This long necklace um, has a coin from 1979. And then these little earrings here that have all the rhinestones. I might take this piece off of here, or I could turn this into like another piece of jewelry and just like add on to it. I also thought it looked like a crescent moon, so that could be nice for. Halloween crafting, and I believe that all the rhinestones are in there. Got these pearl screwbacks. I don't believe the pearls are real. They feel a little smooth when I tested them, um, but they do say sterling on the back. And another pair of these dogwood earrings, and those have the bow sterling. 
I have a lot of stuff to look up afterwards and just figure out what years these might be from or what country they might be made in. This chain says Italy 925, um, a little box chain, and it has a dolphin charm. Um, so I'm gonna give that to my daughter. And then I picked up this piece. I could definitely tell that this was uh, newer, but these little pieces down here with that engraving really look like the Victorian little charms and lockets that I picked up. Um, they do have the Aurora Borealis rhinestone. They seem to fit really well, so I don't know if that would have been original to it or not. And I um, don't know if those, but I definitely picked this up to take those two little hearts off and do something of my um, own with. I don't see any markings on them. And then um, a locket, I love lockets. So I did look at this one and it says it is 10 carat and I could just tell by that little, very, very delicate um, clasp. Oh. And then it is a locket that's got a pretty design on it. Nothing's inside though, but it's very nice as well. So I will say I was very pleased with all that jewelry. It was such a little treasure chest. And uh, we, we, my mom and me and my daughter enjoyed digging through it. So now I'm gonna try and figure out what year this is from. So I looked it up and the WB stands for Ward Brothers. And I guess the S is the plural for brothers. And um, the little line that's kind of standing up said Scotland. And I looked like on eBay and they said, yes, Scottish thistle brooch. So I love it, love it, love it. Things are pretty. I also looked up the bow jewelry and it's bow or bow craft. Started in 1947 in Providence, Rhode Island and they retired in 2004. And it said that um, they were known for combining brushed sterling finishes with high polished sterling for a unique look. This set marked HSB was Harry S. Bick and Sons and it was also uh, 1947 in New York, New York, New York. So interesting because um, this is the bow piece, how similar they are and uh, starting you know, in the north, east coast, the dogwood, same year, maybe just a popular motif. So always need to find out what you have, but I buy this stuff because I think it's pretty and I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna make stuff with it, and I'm gonna display it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my treasures and I'll be back with another video, bye.